Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Um, you guys know that I'm an operating room nurse and so this video is gonna seem like it's geared mostly towards nurses, but really this video is for anybody, any of you out there who have curly hair, who work in a job where you have to keep your hair covered all day. Yeah. Before I talk about what I do when I get to work, I'm gonna talk about the mornings before work or maybe even the evening before I have to work. Uh, the main thing that I do on these days is that I use a lot less product. My hair is gonna be covered for the day um, and so uh, if I use too much product, I just find it completely flattens my hair. I have no volume and it's harder for me to refresh. So I would wake up, I sleep on my silk pillowcase to prevent like a ton of frizz. I just wake up, I put either a little bit of water in my hands or I gently spritz my hair with a spray bottle and then I add like a little bit of mousse or a little bit of gel just over the surface of my hair and scrunch it just so that my hair looks um, defined and styled enough to make it from home to work. Okay, so I'm at work, got my scrubs on, but again, if you're not a nurse, maybe you work in hospitality or you work at a restaurant um, and you have to wear a uniform and cover your hair. I got my uniform on. Uh, we do have a very, very strict dress code policy, obviously, in the operating room, so normally I wouldn't have like a chain on and rings. Um, and we have our clothing laundered at the facility. So the first option are just these regular disposable caps. Um, and in some ORs, in some facilities, and I'm sure some restaurants and places like that, you are required to wear a disposable hat. So I have three different kinds. I have a size small, a size large, and then I have one of these extra large kind of bouffant caps. At some facilities and some jobs, you may be permitted to wear a cloth hat. Um, and these are a little bit more stylish and there's pros and cons to wearing these as well. And in some places you may have to wear a hairnet. All of these tips and things that I talk about are going to apply to anyone that is wearing any of those types of hats. Advantages and disadvantages of the cloth hats. Um, and it depends on what brand you buy, but most of them are made of cotton. And the advantage is that I find that these don't dry my hair out as much as the disposable ones. Um, the disadvantage is that they are very tight to your head and they tend to crush my curls. So I used to wear these a little bit more often and then I found they kind of wrecked my hair more so than the disposable ones. When I had a ponytail, I would take all of my hair and I would very loosely kind of twist it and I'd put a claw clip um, up towards like the back of my head to keep my hair loosely piled on top of my head or I would use um, like a satin or a silk scrunchie and I would do a little loose bun and then put this on. But with my short hair, it's quite easy. There we go, very cute. Um, and then I'll kind of loosen it up. You can kind of shake your hair out a little bit underneath it, but not really, it's, it's pretty tight. So the pros of these are that, like I said, they're a little bit cuter, um, they're made out of cotton, and I find they don't dry my hair out very badly. Um, but the biggest con about these hats for me is that they're tight to my head. So if I have too much product in my hair, um, my hair looks really flat at the end of the day. Like it will kind of crush my hair to my head, and if I have mousse or gel in my hair in the morning, um, it's really hard to refresh my hair. And so that's why I always recommend just very lightly styling your hair in the morning. So if you're wearing a hat like this every day, um, I just have one thing that I'm gonna suggest. And if there's anybody else on here who's a nurse or works in any kind of a job where you have to wear a tight cloth cap, please leave your suggestions below. But what I have done in the past when wearing these hats is I will clip up the top part of my hair. And this is good if you have long hair or if you have short hair. With my short hair, I'll just take a couple of little clips and I will clip my roots upwards. I know this looks ridiculous right now, but it, it does work. All right, so that gives me a little bit of volume at the top of my head. And believe it or not, these hats have a little bit more room right on the top. So when I've done this in the past, 
I know what you're thinking, like the clips are gonna feel annoying in your hair, but it's not any different than if you were wearing your hair like half up and half down with clips. It really doesn't bother me at all. I've also used like little claw clips before, um, but when wearing these hats, I will clip my roots a little bit. Um, and then when I refresh my hair at the end of the day, I do find I have more volume and my hair has a better shape. Guys, I have to be honest, I don't do this all the time because during regular weekdays when I have nothing to do after work, I really don't care that much what my hair looks like. As long as it looks okay, um, then that's good for me. But if let's say I had to go out somewhere after work and I want my hair to look really good after work, um, I will clip my roots. Disposable caps. So most of you will have these disposable caps. Um, my tips for wearing disposable caps are simple. Um, choose the largest size uh, that the elastic fits snugly around your head. So, I mean, I know it doesn't look super cute. Like here's a size small. Not that this looks great, but it looks a little bit better than this. I just find this so puffy and makes my head look like a mushroom, but my after work hair looks so much better. So I make the sacrifice and nine out of 10 times I wear these hats. Um, if I want my hair to look really good after work, if I was going out to dinner with friends or something after work, not that I do that very often, but if I was, I would clip the front of my hair or clip my roots. Um, and to combat one of the number one biggest problems I had with these hats, I actually ordered something on Amazon. So the thing about the disposable cap is yes, it's puffy and my hair has more room and my hair looks better after work, but I found that whatever material these are made of, um, really dried my hair out. In order to combat the drying out of the hair, I ordered a couple of satin caps on Amazon. And again, it just depends on how good you want your hair to look after work. Um, so if you don't care what your hair looks like after work, then you can just do a quick refresh and not have to go through all this. But I've had days where I was going somewhere, like I said, right after work and I really wanted my hair to look good. Um, so I ordered these, they were about $8 for five of these on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll leave it below. And this is just a very loose satin cap and it's in a very similar shape to these. Now, the issue with these is that these are not facility laundered um, and they're not technically a scrub hat. So I know in my facility, I wouldn't be able to get away with just wearing these, even though they look the same as a regular scrub hat. Um, but I can wear this under the cloth hats and it's nice and loose, so it doesn't bother me at all. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. So you can see my hair is nice and loose under this satin cap. If I wanted to have a lot of volume at the end of the day, I could clip my roots and then I put my disposable cap right on top of it. I find this quite comfortable. Um, my hair does not come out from underneath it and I do find that this gives me the best results. Um, and you know, I'm meeting facility policy because I'm covering it with a disposable hat and nobody can actually really tell I even have that on underneath. Now that I've talked about my hat options, I'm gonna talk about three other things that I do throughout the day that helps my hair to look good at the end of my shift. Tip number one, I already mentioned, I make sure that I don't have too much product in my hair when I first get to work. My second tip has to do with breaks. So we get a morning break and then we also get a lunch break. And what I do on both of my breaks is I make sure I take my hat off and I just shake my hair out a little bit and I give it a little bit of time to breathe um, before I put my hat back on and go back to work. The third thing that I do is I just make sure my hair is completely, completely dry uh, when I get to work. And this is the opposite of what I did before I started working in the OR. Before I get into specifics, I'm gonna talk about like what you're gonna to need to have at work. So you're gonna to have to have supplies. Hopefully you have a locker, but if you don't, you just need enough stuff that you can fit in your purse or your bag that you take to work daily. Um, or maybe you can keep it in the staff washroom. I'm not sure your specific situation, but because 
The situation varies um, and because I don't want to have my locker stuffed full of things, I only really keep two things at work. So one thing that is an option is a spray bottle. So I have a spray bottle from the dollar store. Um, this I keep at my home because when I'm refreshing my hair at home, it's probably because I'm going somewhere or I'm refreshing my hair for the day and I'm not going to work. So I want to use a spray bottle to really make sure that I uniformly um, moisten my hair before I put my products in. But at work, to be honest, I don't use this every time. Sometimes I forget it and sometimes I just use water from the sink in my hands and I do find that works, you know, okay for at work. But if you can have a spray bottle at work, that would really help. The second thing you have to have is some kind of a styling product with hold in it. So um, I used to, when I had longer hair, I would make sure I had a spray bottle and I would keep a styling cream and a gel. Now that my hair is shorter, I find it so much easier to refresh and I can get away with one product. So I'm gonna show a few products that I do use. This is the one I use most often. So I just spritz my hair or wet my hair in the sink and I use this BioTerra gel and this is a small bottle, easy to keep in my locker or in my purse. Um, I also have the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Mousse. I really like this and I use this some days. The only thing with this, and I've mentioned it before, and it's funny because this is polyquats in it and this is polyquats in it, but I find if I use this every day, I do get like a filmy buildup. But if I use it a couple of times a week, it works awesome. So um, I actually have one of these and one of these in my locker. The other thing that I've used to refresh my hair at work is this Lust Love Your Curls All-in-One Repair Hydrate and Style. This is like a styling cream and a gel and a leave-in um, all-in-one bottle, which is really convenient. I don't wanna confuse you guys. What I'm trying to do is kind of tell you that you should use whatever products you think work really well for you and it takes a little bit of trial and error. When I had longer hair, I found this with a styling cream worked the best for me and now that my hair is short, to be honest, I find I can get away with any of these um, and my hair looks great. It might look slightly different either way, but um, I just mix and match these at times. The other thing I keep in my locker in my purse are like little clips or claw clips or bobby pins. Now I'm gonna show you how I refresh my hair after work. If you don't know what refresh is, you're probably new to the curly girl method. Um, it's basically just a way to kind of revamp your hair without having to get a shower or soaking your hair completely. Um, so after work, I do refresh my hair. Um, sometimes I use a spray bottle and sometimes I just use the sink at work. It depends on what you have available to you. Um, but I only do my hair in two sections because you guys know when you get off work, especially if you have little children, you want to get home as soon as possible. So all I do is I take, you know, like I said, claw clips that I have in my locker and I just pin the top part of my hair back. and then I spritz the bottom layer of my hair with a spray bottle or I wet my hands in the sink and I put some water on the bottom part of my hair. I'm not gonna spray my hair with the spray bottle because I found it out in the garage and I'm very suspicious that my husband had spray nine in this. I just wanted to show you guys the bottle but actually I would just spritz my hair and then I would take a little bit of mousse or gel or my Lust 3-in-1, whatever, not a ton, rub it between my hands and I would kinda praying hands it over my hair or just smooth it over my hair. I don't rake my fingers through my hair because I find it gives me too much volume, but if you like more volume, then you can rake the product through your hair. And then I give it a little scrunch. That's it, takes two seconds. And then I take the top part down and I repeat. So I either take water from the tap in my hands and I kind of run it over my hair or I take my spritz bottle and I spritz my hair. Oh my God, my hair looks crazy right now. I'm gonna to have to actually go in the mirror and refresh my hair. Um, but then I take a little bit more gel or mousse or whatever, or both, rub it between my hands and I kind of smooth it over my hair and some inside like this and I scrunch. Then I just give my hair a little shake. There, and it's a little tiny bit damp and I leave like this. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my pregnancy update video. Bye.